the greatest quotes that I've ever heard are, the curve in the road is only the end of the road if you do not curve with it. And life is not about waiting for the storm to pass. It's about learning to dance in the rain. We are now going through a storm and we are definitely at a curve in the road. Let us learn to dance in the rain and curve with the road. Use this time as an opportunity to update your resume. Maybe reach out to Shat Khan and send them a small video clip of yourself, describing yourself, who you are, what you are, what you're looking for. Let them, you know, they'll be able to watch that. They'll be able to send that to other Shat Khanim and they could, it's a great way to network for yourself through this, you know, challenging time. Uh, another great idea I've heard is to possibly reconsider past suggestions that have been made, even ones that you've said no to. Maybe it's worth reconsidering now, especially if you've met them in the past. Now's a great time you could continue with Zoom. The new norm today is Zoom dating, and I will give some tips that could be helpful throughout a Zoom date. A great idea would be to discuss beforehand how long the Zoom date should be. Something like 45 minutes, I think, for sure in the beginning is a great amount of time. It's not need to be more than that, and it's important to give a phone call beforehand to discuss, you know, discuss the Zoom date, discuss what you're going to be doing on the Zoom date. Besides for a phone call before the initial Zoom date, it might be a good idea to spread them out a bit, to do a phone call, let's say one week a Zoom, the next week a phone call, the next week a Zoom. We don't know how long this will all take and it's worth it to realize it might take time and therefore it's a good idea to spread out the time in between the Zoom dates or the conversation that you might be having. It's very important also to prepare beforehand. It's not like a regular date where you're walking and you're seeing things and you're meeting people and the scenery is constantly changing. You have to be prepared for that Zoom date. There's a benefit that you could write things down beforehand and you could look at your paper, glance at it. Obviously, you don't want to sit there reading from your paper throughout the Zoom, but definitely to give a little peek at some of the notes that you wrote beforehand of topics or things that you might want to discuss. You have that opportunity during a Zoom date. It's important to note that the background is extremely important in a Zoom date. Anything that's behind you will be seen on that Zoom. So either make sure it's a clean background, you know, a plain wall or something like that, or that you're okay with whatever's in the background. I definitely have heard some people have expressed frustration with Zoom dating. I'm sure there are many frustrations, but particularly the fact that sometimes the internet service isn't always the greatest. And obviously that is frustrating, but it also could be an opportunity to see how the other one acts under pressure or how they respond to difficult situations in life. I once heard it's a great, you know, thing, you know, you shouldn't marry anyone until you see them, um, you know, how they work for an hour with a computer that has slow internet service you'll really get to know that person well. It's very important to make sure you have good lighting in the room, whether maybe add some extra lights, but a bright room, or at least the spot where you're doing the zoom, is extremely important. It'll make a very big difference if it's dark and it's not clear, um, that could make the whole date not as productive. Many people don't realize that it's important to look at the camera, not at the screen. When you look at the screen, you're not looking at the person. You're only looking at your screen looking at the camera is looking at the person and that's something that people don't realize and it's good to practice that also to have a conversation obviously you could glance down at the screen here and there but it's important to be focusing on the camera zoom also has an option that you can share your screen however you must be careful because you want to make sure that everything that's on your screen you want it to be shared so i would suggest either clear up your screen beforehand or at least prepare beforehand what you're going to be sharing. This is a great feature that Zoom has for a Zoom date. When you could share your screen, you could play games together, you could play, uh, show video clips, you know, of interesting things, and then you could discuss them. You could go through a virtual tour of a zoo, an aquarium. I actually saw you could do an amusement park. You can go on a virtual tour on a roller coaster together on a Zoom. Go figure, what they don't have today. Other ideas that I've heard, you could go, if you have Zoom on your cell phone, you can go on a a Zoom walk together, and you could show things, you know, as you pass things, you could, you know, 
show in different interesting things that you may come across, or at least just a change of scenery to you know have a conversation while going on a walk together. You could make up to prepare a meal together and you could eat on a Zoom date. Um, there's lots of things you could be creative once you realize that obviously maybe not in the first or second day, but as it you know gets further on, you could do all sorts of interesting interactive games and they could be very helpful. Treat it like a real date. However you would prepare for a real date, that is how you should prepare for a Zoom date. You will be in your element, you will be confident, and it will be a successful date. I once heard a person came up to Shemayim, they came up to heaven, and Hashem was showing them a video of their entire life, and throughout every scene of their life, there was two footprints. And this person realized one was theirs, and one was Hashem's. And at the end of the video, person turned to Hashem and said, you know, I don't understand. At the times that it was the most challenging, the most difficult for me, I only saw my footprints. I only saw one set of footprints. That's when I needed you the most. And Hashem said, you don't understand. Those were the times when I picked you up and I put you on my shoulder and I carried you through those challenging times. We know, Hashem is with us in times of pain. And challenging times. Now more than ever, Hashem is with us. Let's all grab life by the horns and use these opportunities to the fullest.